everyone welcome back to my channel today I thought we would work on a Mickey and Minnie sweetheart scrapbook layout uh, the stack pack that I'm using today is a die cuts with the view the floral fur okay my main paper measures 11 and a half by 11 and a half this is from the open stock section at Hobby Lobby I'll go ahead and back that on a piece of 12 by 12 craft card stock paper and I'll go ahead and use my ATG to tape it down my next piece of paper this measures 11 and a half by 6 inches I'll go ahead and bring it down here I have two borders that are Google searches. I went ahead and brought them down to my silhouette, traced them, and now I'm able to use them. This one I'll go ahead and bring up to the top, and this one I'll bring right here. This one measures 11 and a half by half an inch. This one measures 11 and a half by two inches. Now I'll go ahead and use my zip dry. And I did ink all my edges with Distress Vintage Photo. Okay, that looks nice. For my next two pieces, this grass border is from the Silhouette store. And then I have this fence also from the Silhouette store. The only thing I made it uh, pretty small in order to have a, a good size uh, fence down here when I stretched it out to be 11 and a half. Uh, inches long it became ridiculously big it was like right here and I didn't really like it so I went ahead and um, got it down to five and three quarters by one and three eighth and I think it looks much better like this and my grass here measures eleven and a half by one and three quarters Now my fence, I do not want it all the way to the bottom. I want it a little bit up. So I'm going to go ahead and play with it for a little bit and then I'll go ahead and place my grass over it.
Next, I do have my tree. This is from the Silhouette store. This measures six inches by eight and one quarter. I'll go ahead and bring it over here to the side. I do have my photo mat. This does measure, the white outside layer measures five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. On my silhouette, I did an internal shadow, which gives me a quarter less. For this uh, pink one right here, that one measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. I went ahead and did an internal shadow, which gives me a quarter less. Next, I do have my Mickey and Minnie. They measure five and one quarter by five and a half. And they're popped up on one thickness uh, foam tape. And this is a Google image that I found. Next, I did create a title. It reads, With Love. I went ahead and typed it in on my silhouette, grouped it together, created a shadow, went ahead and grabbed one of these hearts, enlarged it, put it behind my shadow, grouped everything together again, and then created another shadow in order to get uh, this look. I went ahead and uh, popped it on one thickness of foam tape. Now bring it over here. Now my title does read six and one quarter by two and three quarters. Okay, I'll start gluing things down. Next, I do have two flowers. These are for Miss Kate Cuttables. I'll bring one over here and one over on this side. My flowers measure three and three quarters by two and one quarter. Next, I do have two pieces of grass. This one measures two and a half by one and one quarter. This one measures one and a half by three quarters. This actually comes with the fence on the silhouette. I think I'll do that. And I pop them up with one thickness of foam tape. Next, I do have these little flowers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. They're the Paper Studio brand. I'll go ahead and randomly put them here at the bottom. And there you have it. This is my 12 by 12 Mickey and Minnie with love scrapbook layout. If you enjoyed the video and like to give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you like to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it as well. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye for now.